With the Google Sheets query function, you can basically write uh, SQL queries, if you're familiar, within a spreadsheet um, to pluck out exactly the, the data that you need from a, a much bigger data set. Um, but if you're used to writing SQL queries, it can be a little bit off-putting at first to, to work with Google Sheets queries. Um, it's somewhat kind of counterintuitive, some of the, the pieces, and it just works in different ways. So I made a list of all of the ways that I think they're different. This is, and the ways that you can kind of adapt SQL queries to Google Sheets queries and vice versa. Um, this is by no means an exhaustive list, but it's, it's what I've seen in, in working with both of these a ton. Um, so let's look at writing a, a basic query here. So in, in SQL syntax, you have, for any query, you have a select star from where order by, you know, limit type of syntax um, that you see here. And in a Google Sheets query, that's not so different. You can still say select star, uh, you know, select all the columns that you want, where certain conditions are met, order by a certain column limit. Um, the only, the key difference here is that you'll notice there's no from statement. You don't say select from where. Use the from is set in the first uh, clause where you say which data do you want to query and that's a reference to not a table but it's a reference to a tab or a range within the spreadsheet. So your from is kind of replaced by a data range here. You also notice that instead of um, querying column names and it recognizing the column name you have to specifically um, in, in SQL rather you have to specifically pluck out which column of the spreadsheet are you pulling from? Are you pulling column B, D, or F? They don't have names, they just have letters. So you'll notice that difference here. Um, and you can also, instead of column A, you could substitute column one, um, but there's no way for you to, to shorthand it with the header name there. So, a lot of uh, the math functions are really similar between Google Sheets queries and SQL queries. So say you want to do a sum or an average or a count on a column or even you know some of the, the time functions like hour or month or day. All of those are generally the same across SQL and Google Sheets queries. Um, and really the group by syntax when you're doing say sum a column and display the kind of pivoted column, um, the group by syntax will be exactly the same between uh, Google Sheets and SQL queries. So those are, doing math is, is basically the same. What if you wanted to label a column? So you wanted to say, okay, display this column name, but have the header row display some other value. Um, in SQL, you type that out as the column name as your label. Um, but within Google Sheets queries, you don't define that when you select the column. You define that actually at the end. So you'll say select column A, label column A with a, a label text in single quotes. Um, and you can do multiple labels if you, if you wanted to label. Say we wanted to select column A and column B and label column A, label one, column B, label two, you can just separate, comma separate as many labels as you want. Date comparisons get a little bit wonky. So, you know, in SQL, it's really straightforward to say, okay, select this column from this table where the date column is greater than certain date. And you have a lot of flexibility with the format that you can specify that date in. Um, Google Sheets is very rigid with date comparisons. So any date has to be in this year, 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 month, month, date, date format. It won't take dates in any other format. It just doesn't work. Um, and you have to, before you specify a date, you have to type actually the word date um, in front of it, which is you know somewhat similar to SQL, but usually you don't have to do that. Um, so be careful with dates in Google Sheets queries. They can get pretty frustrating. Um, what about if we wanted to, you know, the, the SQL phrase like, so if you want to say 
you know, where a column matches any value, kind of wildcard value in here, you know, whether you want it to, to match anywhere or match just at the end or just at the beginning. Um, SQL has, that's like a pretty flexible function, I would say, the like function in, in SQL. In Google Sheets, it's a little bit more rigid, but also like pretty useful, I would say. Um, you can simply say, select a column where that column contains a value. Um, and you could similarly say like where, where it doesn't contain a value. So contains will be kind of like your Swiss army knife in Google Sheets queries that will replace the, the like. And my biggest pet peeve with Google Sheets queries is that you can't really join columns in, you know, in the sense that you can do inner joins, outer joins, kind of flexible joins within SQL. So if you wanted to take two tables, merge them together based on a certain field, uh, and then do some, some querying in them, you just can't do that in Google Sheets. So not the best option for that. Um, and the last thing is I love in, in SQL queries writing using in queries. So making a, a long list of terms that I want uh, a query to match for and setting, setting them after in here, like this, this parent, you know, parenthetical phrase here. Unfortunately, in Google Sheets queries, there is no such thing as like an in phrase. So you just have to add your conditions one by one. So you'd have to say, or the column matches this, or the column matches that. Um, not a huge headache, because you can use uh, functions to get around that, to make that long list for you, but it's, it's kind of a pain. So hopefully this gives you a sense for, you know, how Google Sheets queries are different than SQL queries. Um, in the description, I'll drop links to, to both a, a tutorial on getting started with SQL, if you're more f familiar with Google Sheets queries, or a tutorial to get started with Google Sheets queries if all you know is, is SQL. So happy querying.